Bubble models like the VPM and the RGBM, the Sunto fused RGBM in particular, uh, gradient factors are computed consistently within a model. They're not arbitrary, okay? They are self consistent and they provide the quickest and safest means to ascent for a decompression dive. Gradient factors, as they're called nowadays, uh, 20 years ago we published a paper and gradient factors were then called reduction factors and they were automatically built into the, um, the recreational RGBM. So what you see in the recreational RGBM are correlated with data gradient factors, which we call reduction factors, uh, already there. In the full up, or the, I should say, the fused RGBM, the full up bubble model, uh, the gradient factors are natural, consistent with, with uh, bubble physics, dissolved gas physics. Uh, they are tested and correlated, and, and they're computed on the fly, and they're not called gradient factors. They're just called the RGBM model. Now, gradient factors, as applied to the Buhlmann ZHL or the U.S. Navy tables or anybody else's tables, these are sort of uh, bootstrap numbers that reduce the permissible exposure time for dissolved gas. They don't even look at bubbles. They don't know what bubbles are. So they limit dissolved gas and in some sense they reduce M values. And when that happens, it's not necessarily consistent. Let me, not, let me say on first principles, it's inconsistent because there are no bubble dynamics. Gradient factors are not consistent with bubble dynamics. They're just dialed in later um, entities that by hook or crook, and hopefully all the divers that have used them haven't been hit, uh, used by hook or crook, to get out of the water a little faster than traditional dissolved gas models would allow you to do. And, and as I said just a minute ago, um, we published papers uh, on reduction factors for recreational diving that were consistent with bubble models. And uh, this was picked up and uh, uh, used in the, in the technical diving community for and called gradient factors for um, for the type of diving algorithms or computers or software that used traditional just dissolved gas models. So um, the question is, how do you choose gradient factors? Well, one of the things we will do in the future, uh, time permitting, is that we will look at our data and see how we can tweak up Buhlmann ZHL factors to possibly give what uh, some folks call gradient factors, we call them reduction factors, in some consistent way for a limited range of diving, not for all diving, not for mixed gas diving across all possible mixtures, open circuit or rebreather, N not for all set points, you know, point 0.8 to uh, to 1.3 on a, on a rebreather, on a CCR. We might be able to come up with limited gradient factors that we could give to those folks that are still using dissolved gas models to, to dive, and we wish them the best of luck. But don't expect that to happen right away.